So for those of you who have been wondering where you can get the muzzle flash and the bullet hit effects that I've been using in my recent videos, they're actually custom particles that I've been making for my next project. And if you followed my Niagara particle system tutorials, you probably already know exactly how they were made. Like I said before, all the information for all of my tutorials is freely available for everyone to see online. But if you just don't want to take the time to put everything together yourself, you can just drop by and get it from my shop on ArtStation. And just something to note about my ArtStation, unlike the support you guys give me on memberships or coffee or patreon which i usually directly reinvest back into the channel to make better content for you guys anything that i make from the shop is stuff that i use to chip away at my student loans one of my goals this year is to take a big bite out of my remaining debt and the art station shop is one of the ways i do that so yeah just know that anytime you help me on the shop you are helping me to slowly get free of the government chains that have been following me around ever since college but regardless if you get the bullet from art station you will find an unreal 5.4 project so you need to have at least Unreal 5.4 to use these particles. If you do, you can go in and under bullet VFX, you'll find a folder called VFX Assets, and you will find everything that I use to create these particles, from the textures, the sounds, the particles themselves, the meshes, the materials, and the blueprints. Now there are two blueprints. The first is the bullet itself, which creates the muzzle flash particle and the sound effect when it's spawned, and the hit particle and sound effect when it collides with something. The second blueprint is just the gun demo, which literally says if you press the E key, create a bullet from the barrels location and rotation. And the effects themselves are actually really straightforward. My art style has always been to try and get the best look I can with as simple and few components as possible. So if you ever want to go in and edit things like the color, you can really easily just go into the particle and under color, you can instantly just change it to whatever you want. And that's mainly because I like to keep things simple and fast for my own workflow. And as a bonus, I've just added in the firing recoil blueprint from the last tutorial. You'll probably want to remove it from event tick, so feel free to optimize anything you find in here as you see fit. So, I hope you find that useful, and again, if you don't want to spend any money at all, you can always find out how to do all this stuff yourself for free by watching my tutorial series. But regardless, hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.